in today's class we will see about the current sensitivity of a galvanometer and voltage sensitivity of galvanometer in the last class we have discussed how a galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter and also a voltmeter let us recall it galvanometer or conversion of galvanometer into voltmeter or ammeter conversion of galvanometer into ammeter or into an ammeter This is done by connecting a small resistance in parallel with the galvanometer coil. Why it is we have seen in the last class. Now just let us recall that you know you have a galvanometer of resistance RG and this galvanometer can measure current up to IG. That means it gives the full scale deflection for current IG. Full scale deflection means you have a galvanometer and will be a needle. So it can measure current from 0 to IG. IG is the full scale deflection. So 0 to IG. Now to do this, you know, you are connect if you have a current I in the circuit, you want to measure I. So here if this resistance uh, parallel resistance is RP the current which can go through this is I minus IG now the voltage across RG is equal to voltage across RP so here we have seen that you know the parallel resistance RP which is to be connected to measure a current I if the galvanometer shows a full scale deflection IG is given by RP is IG into RG the galvanometer resistance divided by IG into RG by divided by I minus IG similarly conversion to a voltmeter Now in this case, it is done by connecting a very high value of series resistance. Now this is RG and you have a high value of resistance in series RS. If this is IG, now if you are connecting it, measure a voltage V, then R is given by or RS the series resistance is given by V divided by IG V is the voltage to be measured minus RG so this we have seen we have derived these equations to know in detail you can refer the previous video now we will fi find out what is the current sensitivity of the galvanometer current sensitivity that means how the deflection changes when the current changes the current sensitivity of galvanometer is defined as the deflection per unit current current sensitivity of the 
galvanometer is the deflection per unit current per unit current we know the relation between the deflection and the current 5 is given by the deflection 5 is equal to n into a into b divided by k into i what are these quantities n is the number of turns in the galvanometer coil number of turns in the galvanometer coil and A is the area of the coil B is the strength of the magnetic field in which this coil is placed and what is K? K is the spring constant, torsional constant of the spring. Because of this string only, uh, we have this restoring torque, torsional constant of the spring. Now, the sensitivity is current, sorry, deflection per unit current. So, that is phi by i. Now, phi by i can be written as n a b divided by k. That is clear from this equation because we have phi is n a b by k. Phi by i, so that i, I will get cancelled or i will come towards the left. So, phi by i is n a b by k. This is called current sensitivity of the galvanometer. So, for, for per unit current, how the deflection varies. Now, to improve the current sensitivity or to increase the current sensitivity, we can increase the number of turns. So, the manufacturer, for a manufacturer, the convenient way to increase the sensitivity is by increasing the number of turns in the coil. That is the easiest way. So, a convenient way for the manufacturer to increase the sensitivity is to increase the number of turns. Is to increase the number of turns n increase the number of turns n this is about current sensitivity next we'll see what is voltage sensitivity of galvanometer voltage sensitivity sensitivity galvanometer the voltage sensitivity is the deflection per unit voltage voltage sensitivity is defined as the voltage uh, deflection deflection per unit voltage okay so now we have the relation between deflection and current as phi is equal to NAB K into I 
we know what are this n a b k it is actually constant for the galen galenometer n is the number of turns in the coil a is the area of the coil b is the strength of the magnetic field and k is the spring constant now voltage sensitivity is defined sorry not defines defined as the deflection per unit voltage therefore phi by v is equal to n a b divided by k into i divided by v and v is equal to i into r so i can also write i by v is equal to 1 by r this is equal to n a b divided by k into 1 divided by r therefore phi by v is this is the voltage sensitivity of a galvanometer and now phi by v is n a b by k into 1 by r now there is an interesting point here to note now we said the current sensitivity can be improved or increased by increasing the number of turns now for example in a given galvanometer coil let's say the number of turns is doubled or let the current sensitivity is increased by increasing the number of turns let n is increased to 2n let n is increased to 2n now how will the current sensitivity increases now we have phi by i s n a by b by k now when n is doubled n becomes 2 n phi by i becomes equal to 2 into n a b by k that means phi by i also becomes 2 times phi by when n becomes 2 n i can say that phi by i becomes 2 times the initial phi by i that means current sensitivity so when the number of turns doubles current sensitivity also doubles so when number of turns doubles here number of turns doubles current sensitivity also doubles doubles now what about the voltage sensitivity now n becomes 2 n that means that number of turns is increased the resistance also likely to double when n becomes 2 n I can say that because number of turns increases r will also become 2 r that is uh, you know I can say that uh, the resistance is proportional to the length of the wire because R is proportional to length of the wire so if you increase the number of turns the resistance is likely to double therefore voltage sensitivity which is given by phi by V is equal to NAB divided by k k into 1 by r so this is voltage sensitivity so when the n becomes 2 n r becomes 2 r so what happens to this equation now so phi by v becomes equal to 2n a b by k into 1 by 2r now this 2 2 will get cancer therefore phi by will remain the same as before
So, 5 by V remains same. Remain same. The voltage sensitivity remains same. If number of turns is doubled. When number of turns is doubled, number of turns is doubled, voltage sensitivity remains same. Whereas current sensitivity was doubled. So, the same modification need not increase both the sensitivity. So, for a manufacturer, we will use different variable to increase the sensitivity like voltage sensitivity or the current sensi sensitivity. So, modification required is different for increasing the sensitivity of ammeter or to increase uh, a separate modification is required to increase the sensitivity of a voltmeter or voltage sensitivity. So, in general I can say that the modification needed for conversion of a galvanometer to an ammeter will be different from what is required for converting into voltmeter. So, that we have proved from this example wherein we have showed what happens to the current sensitivity and voltage sensitivity by increasing the number of turns. When the number of turns is of the coil is increased, the current sensitivity doubled whereas the voltage sensitivity remained the same. Hope you understood about the current sensitivity and voltage sensitivity of a galvanometer.